Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 64th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about structures. Now we know that when we want a series of elements of the same kind then we can use arrays, right? So if you want a bunch of integers then you can create an array of integers and if you want a bunch of characters then you can create an array of characters, right? But what if you want to have a variable that has one element of integer type, another element of character type, another element as a string maybe and another element of float type. So if you want to have a variable that has elements belonging to different data types, then you need to create structures, right? So in this tutorial, we'll see how we can define a structure in a C program. And in the subsequent tutorials, we'll see how we can declare structure variables and then, uh, you know, how we can use them in C programs, right? So using code blocks, I've saved a file. I have given it the name structures.c and uh, this file has got a lot of code, right? I've got uh, executable statements on about 35 lines in this program and we're not going to cover the entire program in this tutorial. We're going to see a small section of it in this one. And in the later tutorials, we'll see the rest of the program, right? So on line one in this file, I have the stdio.h header file. On line two, I have the string.h header file. And this is something that I will be needing for what I've done in the, in the program. And then on line three, I have declared a structure, right? So this also happens to be the structure definition. And just as you have to define functions before using them in C programs, you also have to define a structure before declaring member variables of it in the main function of the program, right? So that's why this happens to be outside the main function. And to declare a structure, you have to mention the struct keyword, right? So this is struct, and then you have to give your structure a name. And I have given my structure the name album. Right. And then whatever elements your structure is going to hold, you have to declare those within a pair of curly braces. Right. So this is again, similar to how you define your functions. And, uh, as you can see, I have, uh, declared four elements within the structure definition. And the first one is an array of characters or a string and it's called title and it can hold a maximum of 30 characters. And the next one also is a string and, uh, it's called artist and it can also hold a maximum of 30 characters. The next one is an integer variable and it's called number of tracks. And the next one is also an integer variable and it's called year, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this structure uh, album as a template for some variables that I'm going to create in the main function. And, uh, in those variables, I'm going to store information about music albums. Right. So each variable is going to hold the uh, title information and then the name of the artist of the album and then the number of tracks in the album and also the year in which the album was released. So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we'll declare structure variables and then we'll uh, store information in these elements using uh, something called the member access operator. And then we'll also display the information stored in the structure variables on screen. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. And please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. I'll see you soon.